Hi and welcome to the tutorial and introduction of the UI icons. With the UI icons you, are, you can uh, add any icon from the Fondhausen library uh, available, which currently holds over 600 icons. So once you added the icon, the package actually, which is the UI icon, is part of the package. When you downloaded it, it should be available under your third party apps. So let's drop an icon on your page and let's have a look. First of all, you would want to pick probably one of the icons available. So you can do that easily by clicking on select. You can see that the icons have been uh, have been divided into categories. Uh, first one being the largest category. So you can have a look around and see which icons fit you most. Let's go with, for example, this fighter jet icon. Once you're happy with your selected icon, you click on the right top on done and you can see the icon has been applied. Next of the settings, you can align your icon, of course, to left, to right or center. You can choose the font size, let's increase the font size. Now, when you increase the font size, you can see that the box is getting a bit narrow, but no worries because later we can increase that one as well. You have the option of changing the color, the border width. You see that border around it, it's a value in pixels. Whether that border, border will be solid, di dashed or dotted. And of course a border color. So let's go back here to the box width. Let's set that value for example to 100. And the height as well. You can change the background color. You can change the background color as well. And you can change the border radius. So now it, uh, to make your edges rounder. So let's make, for example, a rounded shape, a circular shape. Let's set the value to 100. And you can see our icon has become rounded. Now we would like to apply some shadow to it. The horizontal shadow, when having a positive value, will be moving to the right. Let's click away from it so we can see that. And when we add a negative value, minus one you can see that it's moving to the left same goes with the shadow of uh, the vertical shadow so a positive value will move it to the bottom a negative value will move it to the top let's add for example here two pixels of horizontal to the right and two pixels of vertical to the bottom next thing you can do is you can add some blur to it as well let's put some blur so Got a nice effect like this. You can choose your color, of course, over your sh your shadow, and you can choose the opacity. So when this value is set to ten, the opacity will be will will be completely opaque, and when you set it to one, the the shadow will almost be transparent. Next, you can choose if your icon, the whole box, actually needs to be linked to some page or other. You need to toggle that on and you need to provide a valid URL. So let's add one here. You can choose whether the link will be opening inside the same window or it has to open another window. And then when uh, for the last setting you can add some hover effects to it as well. Uh, this is especially nice, of course, when your icon has uh, a link to it and users know that they can click on it. So let's add a hover effect since we added a link here. You can choose the color, the background again, the border color, the radius. The radius, we'll look at it later on the live side again. The transition speed, all this has to happen. Then a value that will be scaling down or up the icon. Let's go with up, for example, uh, or make it a higher number, 200% of scale. And you can also rotate your icon, 720. Now let's have a look at the live side on how this looks. UI icon. And let's go and have a look at our icon. And you can see our icon since we changed some things on the icon we need to make sure that we provide the same um, border color becomes red 
but the roundness of course it needs to have the same border radius so let's leave the border radius at we said it was a hundred on our publish refresh and then you can see that otherwise your radius will be also be animating and will become less and it would this could be an effect you you would be looking for of course but in this case I believe it looks nicer when it's just like that so this is how the UI icons work